I just got it done at this place by my house and the girl didn't know what she was doing. So now that I have the skunk strength and the septum, I feel like I just look like... I don't want my piercing to close so I just put a really small... Hey guys, it is Sage and welcome back to another video. So, I I got <laughs> this this video is gonna be a lot and very all over the place. My stomach just growled. I got four piercings and I dyed my hair. As you can see, my hair isn't the color I dyed it anymore because I'm I'm very indecisive. So, um, okay, basically, first I dyed. Should I go over? I'll wear my piercings first because the hair part is longer. But um, yeah, I got my septum pierced here. <laughs> Here's some joy. <laughs> See, it's a thing. It doesn't hurt. It's just my ass more flattery. Aww. Ooh. Cute. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Suits you. Oh. Thank you. Here's some oh, joy. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Not as dramatic as I thought. <laughs> I love it. It's. I love it. I love. I love it. It's amazing. I love how it makes my face look. It, it, I think it suits me very well. Um. So I just took out my hoop on my nostril and just put a small little gold stud there. First, I was contemplating like, should I take my my piercing out but I'm like no I don't want it to close I'm very hungry I don't want my piercing to close so I just put a really small damn um I just put a very small gold hoop here what I put a small gold stud here I already had this from like years ago and I just put it back in and then this one was pierced with a silver horseshoe right after I got I set them done. I loved it literally more than I thought because I would make little videos putting like, I have like these little hoops on my ears. I would just take one out and put it in my system to see how it would look. After maybe a, I'm not even gonna lie and say a week, three days? I'll say in the video where I'm changing it. Um, I changed it to a gold hoop because mainly I don't like silver jewelry. I, I always wear gold jewelry, like even like my necklaces. So that's the one thing was throwing me off. Also the gauge, it was really thick, which is standard. It was pierced with like a 16 gauge and it just looks so thick. I changed it to this. I put a really small gauge. This is a 20. So both my nostril and my septum are now 20 gauge. So it's just really dainty. And like it's noticeable, but not as noticeable as the other one. I'm also gonna order a 20 gauge like horseshoe, a gold one, just so I have like the option to switch it out. Cause with the horseshoe, you can like flip it up if you want to like hide it or whatever. I have to switch up my look a lot, so I'll I just want to have that option. I'll probably get a lot of like piercing Nazis in the comments, maybe I don't know, but it's doing perfectly fine now. Like my piercer was telling me, seconds heal really quickly. I got this pierced end of December. It's like, it doesn't even hurt anymore, like at all. I went to New Steel. Um, my cat just walked in. I forgot what it's called. Steel something. It's at shops at Don Mills in Toronto. If my nose looks dry, ignore it. I'm getting over a cold and my nose around this time every single year, it just looks ashy and like, it's just annoying. So yeah, that's my septum. Before my septum on December 13th, I wrote it in my notes because she said I can change it in two months. I got my conch. I was contemplating getting my conch pierced for months. And for me, that is very long. I'm the type of person where if I decide to do something, I usually do it right away. Like right away, like the day of or the day after. Pain level for my septum, I would say it's like a, a three out of 10. My, my conch was probably a five. My most painful piercing ever was my tragus. No, it's here. My tragus. I'm running out of space, I think. Uh-oh. I had to put some 
clips on my laptop really quick because my camera got full. So I got my conch pierce on December 13th so I can change it in one month because it's the 12th. I'm going to change it to a hoop. Um, yeah, so the pain for that I'd say was like a 5. My most painful was my tragus. I'm pretty sure it's just because when I got it done, I just got it done at this place by my house and the girl didn't know what she was doing. So she had to like force it through there and it hurt really bad. Usually piercings, they just shove it through and they're done. Like it took her like a good bit to push the needle through it hurt like horribly. So that's that, my septum, my conch. And then I got two forward helix piercings. So I already had one. I've had this one in for years. Um, first, I just wanted the one because I'm like, you know what? I see some people with three. Um, I just want to have one and be different and whatever. But now I don't really see that much people with three anymore. I started to really like how the three looked. So I got two more. So it's now a triple forward helix piercing. <laughs> Yeah. You rough? Let it out. You rough? Yes. Very well done. Wow. Nice. Nice. See, it's so funny. <laughs> it's the jewelry time. <laughs> That's I the like, thing. I sometimes people are like, okay, is it contra like the trach is gonna hurt? I'm like, honestly, the trach is really not bad. But you hear like a crunch, yeah. and people will look at me and they're like, ah, French. And I'm like, I don't know how else to describe it, so I'm thankful for you saying that. Yeah. Because, like, it's like, yeah, right? Like, you just, it's French. Um, I got to pick which jewelry I could put in, so these ones that are in right now, it still looks really good. Like, it kind of all just goes because, like, it matches my conch. But I'm eventually going to change them into one to match my middle one. So, yeah, those are the piercings I got. My septum, my conch, and I got two forward helix piercings. I'm pretty much done with my piercings now. I thought I was done before, but then I'm like, no, I want something else on this ear because I have my cartilage, but I feel like it's such a common piercing. I just don't wear it anymore. With piercings, I'm... For right now, I don't want any more. Like, I don't have any in mind that I want. Um, people tell me to get my belly button pierced, but I genuinely don't want one. So, I'm pretty much done. Now, my hair. My hair. I get very bored of my hair. Like, I get bored of my hair so easily. Um, this, yeah. I literally have videos of, like, things I've done to my hair that I just haven't posted yet. Like, I dyed my hair copper last year. I loved it. My stomach, man, I'm so hungry. I need to eat. I dyed it back to black and I was loving it. Like when my hair is jet black, it just looks so healthy. And just, uh, just like, I don't know. It just brings everything together. Cause it's like my eyebrows. Well, when I dye my hair, I always dye my, my brows to match it. So when I had copper hair, I had copper brows. But like my lashes are black. My eyes are look black. They look a really dark brown. It just kind of goes together. Um, I dyed it back to black last year. And then I was just bored. I'm like, ah, I want something different to like spruce up my look. And I've been seeing the skunk stripe trend go around. And again, I don't really like to like follow trends or like do things right when people do them. But I really liked how it looked. I had a similar style in grade nine. I'll put a picture right here. It was a bit different. It was like at the top. This time I dyed it like a bit more to the side. But yeah, it's like I already had the hairstyle years ago. Why not just go back to it? I like how it looks. So I dyed it like a little hidden skunk stripe and I will insert the clips here. I'm literally recording this on my phone just because I'm too lazy to get my camera out and my big tripod and everything. But I've been seeing this trend on TikTok a lot. I had this hair color in high school and I'm like, you know what? Why not I just go back to it? So I'm gonna do a skunk stripe. But I'm gonna do it kind of like hidden because I don't want it. I'm, it's gonna be like a peekaboo kind of skunk stripe if if it, I can achieve what I'm going for. I henna my hair like jet black to get it really dark. So I'm gonna use color oops to see if this will lift it. So I mixed it up. It looks like this. And I'm going to put it on this section of my hair. And you can't really tell I'm gonna blow dry it but not as much as I wanted obviously um, but it's like it's like brown now instead of instead of like jet black so yeah I don't know, maybe in the camera you can but kind of 
So this is like brown and this is jet black. So it did lighten. So I'm hoping that because it's now this color that lifted the henna because if you haven't used henna on your hair before, it's very hard to get out of your hair. But I just like how like jet black it makes my hair look. But I'm just gonna twist this out of the way so it doesn't get mixed in with the rest of the section or the rest of my hair. And I'm going to bleach it tomorrow. Like if the color oops just lessened my hair to blonde, that would have been way easier. But I feel like if I just bleached my hair over the henna, it wouldn't have lightened. Just because henna is really hard to get out. <clears throat> so now that this is lifted, hopefully when I bleach it tomorrow, it'll bleach like into an even color and then I can tone it. So because I change my hair up all the time, I literally just have toner on hand. So I'm going to use T14. And I saw another one in my little hair dye bin. I'm going to check what color it is. It might be the same. It's either the same or T18. I'm going to use one of the two after I bleach it. So I mixed the bleach. I definitely mixed way too much. But I did like half. I think of the yeah, it looks way too much. But I'm just gonna put it on the length of the extensions and the length of my hair and then leave the roots for the last. I already feel like getting warm. Um I can see that it's lightening right now, it's like a brown color. So I see that it's lightening. I can't tell if it's lightening my actual hair or just the extensions. Hopefully it is. Um, so I lightened it. This is what it looks like with one bleaching session. I think I'm going to lighten it one more time, but my hair, my actual hair and the extensions did lighten, which I'm happy about. So I'm gonna do like a protein treatment and then bleach it again and then see how fast or like how light it gets. Guys, like, you know, there was a point where I'm like, okay, this isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna go back and do it black, but it did lighten. It took a lot of steps to get here. So I bleached it the second time. It did lighten more, but it was still that like orangey kind of color. So I put color oops on it and it looks very stringy right now. I'm gonna, this is not my real hair, by the way. My actual hair looks about the same. I put color oops on it, and color oops, I swear it's like a toner almost. Like it kind of just strips any like brassiness out. So I did that, and I'm just gonna dry it and then put the Wella in T14 on. So I think I'm gonna tone it one more time tomorrow, but I really like how it turned out. Um, looks like this. I already tried to like style. I can do like cute little pigtails and stuff. This is just kind of like a cute little peekaboo. Like it's it's very subtle, but then when you style it in like certain ways, you, I don't know. I really I really like how it turned out. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna tone it one more time. The thing is, I literally toned it, and what did I do? I toned it and it looks really good, but I'm like, oh, I think I want it a bit brighter. So I put a tiny bit more bleach just on the middle, just because this part right here is a tiny bit darker. So like my roots are light, the ends are light, but like this part right here is like probably a shade or two darker. And then I'm bleaching it, brought that orangey color back, and then I ran out of the T14. So I have to go get more T14 tomorrow. If I tone it tomorrow and it looks a lot different, I'll come back and give you guys an update. Okay, so this is the next day I've toned it. I'm way too lazy to get my tripod. Hopefully I'm in, like, in frame. I think I am. But I'm way too lazy to get my tripod. But this is the final result. I toned it one more time. And I this is the exact look I was going for. Very happy. It's kind of like a peekaboo highlight. But then I can like... I, I'm, I'm very happy. Very, very happy with how it turned out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. The fact that it took that long for me to get the color i was going for and then i just ended up dyeing it back black like don't be mad because i'm not mad if i'm not mad you don't have to be mad you know that's my hair but yeah i dyed it back to black because just i was sure the clips but like with the the skunk strap and my new septum it was just too much going on for my liking like i dyed my hair with the skunk strap to get that a little oomph and like change into my look because i like changing out my look a lot but I loved it. Without the septum, 
I loved how it looked. I'm like, okay, this is what I was going for. Perfect, amazing, love it. And then I got my septum like a few days later. I felt it was just too much for me. I'm like, okay, now like a septum piercing already changes up your look quite a bit. So now that I have the skunk stripe and the septum, I feel like I just look like, you know what I mean? It was just too much combined and that's not my look. I sat with it for a day, which is a, a lot for me. Again, I'm very spontaneous. So I, I chilled with it for a day. I'm like, you know what? I was talking to my friend too. I'm like, this is a lot. And she's like, no, it looks good. But I don't know. I know myself. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go home, wash my hair, revert it back to curly, see how I like it. I'm like, I like it a bit better, but it's still too much. And then I dyed my hair black the next day. Now that I have a septum, I feel like this is like too much going on. I'm gonna sit with it for a bit, but I might just dye it back to black because I feel like it's just a lot. The septum and the, the, the streak, like if it was just black, all black, like that, I feel like I like that more. Hey guys, um, yeah, this is this is gonna be a vlog at this point. I was just gonna make this into a video I can give myself a skunk stripe, but too much has happened in the span of like less than a week. Literally like four days. So I got my septum pairs as you can see. I love it, love it, love it, amazing. But now with the septum, yeah, I just feel like it's too much going on with the hair and the septum together. Like without the septum, of the hair as a little oomph, you know, with the septum and just like all black hair instead. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna dye it back to black. I don't think I'm gonna really, maybe I'll record some parts, but I just use black henna. Wow, this is so sad. Yeah, I'm just gonna use black henna. Yeah. <laughs> See, much better. Yes, this is, this is, this is what I needed. A lot of you guys are gonna say like what a waste yes yes it was a waste of time but i'm so used to this like i just do spur of the moment decisions i loved the color until i got my stepped up and it was just too much going on you see that i don't make sense like i was getting bored of the black hair so i dyed as kind of stripe because i just needed like an oomph to like just spruce up my look you know when i got my septum it already spruced it up so it's like okay i don't need the skunk stripe anymore you know what i mean so yeah now i'm, I'm good with everything but yeah that is pretty much it right yeah i, I got four piercings i dyed my hair and then i re-dyed it back to black um i did only dye back this section like i didn't put the black henna on my whole head even though there's no ammonia in it, I didn't want to put it back on my whole head. I'm going to eat something just now because my stomach keeps growling. One thing that's very funny though is I dyed the section back black, but it's like keeps fading back into like a, like a brown color. Almost the color of like my bonnet, but a bit darker. Put more black head on it two days ago and it's starting to lighten again. So who knows? I'm kind of just leaving it. So that's that. I'm very... Whoa, I was gonna burp. I'm very spontaneous. If it's your first time seeing my channel, yeah, I, I I be doing stuff like this. I get bored of my look very quickly. I like to switch it up. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it is Sage signing out. I should probably make an out outro. Like an out outro screen. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make an outro screen. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it is Sage signing out. Peace.